quadratic equation Let's look at this question number of real values of x for which log x minus 3 to the base 9 equals log x minus 3 to the base 7 is it's a wonderful question because it uh, mixes a bunch of topics it's a fabulous question let's go step by step on this one take the first idea suppose we say log y to the base 9 some b that means 9 power b equals y 3 square whole power b is y or 3 power 2b equals y or log y to the base 3 is 2b. Right? So if log y to the base 9 is b, then log y to the base 3 is 2b. Simplifies like or log y to the base 3 is 2 times log y to the base 9 for any y. This is important because whenever you are having log, it really helps to have the same base. 9 is 3 square, so that has got to play a role somewhere. We can simplify this and then, and then solve this. The other way of doing this is to call this as log 9, log x minus 3 to the base 3 by log 9 to the base 3. This is 2. So log x minus 3 to the base 3 is 2 times log x minus 3 to the x minus 7 to the base 3, which is exactly what we are doing here. Okay. Effectively, this gives us log x minus 3 to the base 9 is 2 times log x minus 7 to the base 9. The first simplification, bringing it to the same base, Whether the same base as 9 or 7 does not really matter. Or this tells us x minus 3 equals x minus 7 the whole square. 2 times log of x minus 7 is nothing but log of x minus 7 the whole square. If we simplify this, we will get x minus 3 equals x square minus 14x plus 49 or x square minus 15x plus 52 equal to 0. Whatever x satisfies this, we are through. That is the answer you are looking for. Right? First up, this is a quadratic equation. So, let us think in terms of is there a solution possible, a real solution possible. Discriminant, which is b square minus 4ac is 15 square minus 15 square, same as 15 square minus 4 into 52. This is 225. This is less than that. So, this is greater than 0. So, two solutions are possible. Now, that is not enough there. We know that two real values are possible for this. But will both values work? That's what we need to think about, which is the last thing we'll worry about here. x square minus 52x plus 15x plus 52 equal to 0. If you solve for this, remember, log of x minus 3 should be defined. Log of x minus 7 should be defined. If you're looking at x square minus 15x plus 52 equal to 0, we will get two real solutions of x. We will have to consider only real solutions of x that are greater than 7. If you do minus b plus or minus root of b square minus 4ac by 2a, it means you will have 15 plus or minus square root of 225 minus 208 by 2a. 15 plus or minus square root of 17 by 2. 15 plus root of 17 by 2, root 17 roughly 4, that works. 15 minus root 17 by 2, 15 minus 4 is 11, 11 by 2 is 5 and a half, that won't work. So, the last condition we need to keep in mind here, that x has to be greater than 7. There is no such thing as log of a negative number. So, between the two roots, then that quadratic equation has two real roots, all right, which is great. But the, both real roots will not satisfy this because one of the real roots will turn out to be less than 7. So, there will be a log of x minus 7 which turns log of a negative number which is just not possible. Therefore, one of the roots even though it exists, it does not satisfy the given condition or we have only one solution. Beautiful question because we start with logarithm, simplify this to a quadratic, solve the quadratic, realize that we have two roots and come back to logarithm and realize that only one of the two roots will work for us. Therefore, there is only one real value of x that satisfies this condition. And wonderful question. Keep your eye open for detail. You can go very far but not till the final point and, and get yourself a negative mark. So, be very careful. Whenever log comes, there is no such thing as log of a negative number. There is no such thing as log to a negative base. Both of those are not possible. So, keep that in mind when you are solving these questions.